In this video, we will be demonstrating the steps necessary to send and receive faxes using the Interfax integration feature. To set up the Interfax integration in the TrackNet application, the user credentials need to be added to TrackNet. To add the Interfax credentials, click on Tools and select Options. In the Options menu, expand Integrations, then expand the Interfax section. Change the Use Interfax option to True and type in the Interfax username and password. Click Close to close the Options window and complete the setup. Once you have received a new fax, the Tools drop-down and the Interfax menu option will turn red. To download these into TrackNet, first click on the Tools drop-down menu, then select Interfax. On the Interfax inbound screen, there are four sections. The top two are for new messages and the bottom two are for saved messages. To save a message, select it from the top left section and click the Save button in the top left. The Save Fax pop-up will appear and you may select the patient and encounter if desired and add any comments necessary. Once complete, click Save to bring up the Save File dialog box. Here you are able to select where to save the file and what to name the file. When reviewing saved faxes, you are able to sort them by date, whether or not they are assigned to a patient, and by a specific patient they are assigned to. If a fax needs to be deleted, click the appropriate delete to delete the fax. The delete button in the bottom section of the screen will delete faxes that have been saved to TrackNet, and the delete button in the top section will delete faxes that have not been saved to TrackNet. There are several areas where a fax can be sent from TrackNet. The first location is the Progress Notes tab of the Patient's Chart. To send a fax from the Progress Notes tab of the Patient's Chart, first select the encounter to be faxed. Next, click the Fax button. This will prompt you to select a cover sheet. After selecting the cover sheet, you'll need to select the provider the fax will be sent to. Please note the provider must have a valid fax number. Once you have selected the provider, you will have a chance to edit the cover letter and add comments if necessary. Once finished, click OK to send the fax. Another way to send a fax is from the 2.0 Encounters tab. To send a fax from the 2.0 Encounters tab of a patient's chart, first select the encounter to be faxed. Next, click the Fax button. This will prompt you to select a cover sheet. After selecting the cover sheet, you'll need to select the provider the fax will be sent to. Please note the provider must have a valid fax number. Once you have selected the provider, you'll have a chance to edit the cover letter and add comments if necessary. Once finished, click OK to send the fax. Faxes are also able to be sent from the Referrals and Patient Engagement screens. To send a fax from the Referrals screen, click the Referrals button. Once on the referral screen and you are ready to fax the referral, click the Fax button. This will prompt you to select a cover sheet. After selecting the cover sheet, you will need to select the provider the fax will be sent to. Please note the provider must have a valid fax number. Once you have selected the provider, you will have a chance to edit the cover letter and add comments if necessary. Once finished, click OK to send the fax. To send a fax from the Patient Engagement screen, click the Patient Engagement button. Once on the Patient Engagement screen and you are ready to fax the patient's CCD, click the Fax button. This will prompt you to select a cover sheet. After selecting the cover sheet, you will need to select the provider the fax will be sent to. Please note the provider must have a valid fax number. Once you have selected the provider, you will have a chance to edit the cover letter and add comments if necessary. Once finished, click OK to send the fax. The last way to send faxes is through Print Encounters Batch. To send encounters through Print Encounters Batch, click the Tools drop-down menu and select Print Encounters Batch. Search for and select the encounters to be faxed. Click Options and select Fax. This will prompt you to select a cover sheet. 
After selecting the cover sheet, you'll need to select the provider the fax will be sent to. Please note the provider must have a valid fax number. Once you have selected the provider, you'll have a chance to edit the cover letter and add comments if necessary. Once finished, click OK to send the fax. This concludes our video tutorial on sending and receiving faxes with TrackNet. Please refer to the description of this video for a link to the written guide that outlines these steps and thank you for watching.